Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Insight on Business, the News Hour. My name is Michael Libby, your host. It's all brought to us and created by our advertising agency, Insight Advertising, Marketing, and Communications, a full service ad agency based here in the city of Des Moines. Thanks for coming by. Uh, you know, we we get into this all the time with people, um, and it's 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 about professional marketing and advertising. And you'd be surprised how many people think think because they think they know marketing and then they go ahead and do it. Well, our friend Seth Godin penned an interesting piece. Here's Seth, Seth's picture. Uh, you might recognize him from all over the place. We're going to read exactly what it was that he wrote and then some of our insight on this. Uh, he writes, more people are doing marketing badly than any other profession I can imagine. What an opportunity. If we were building bridges, writes Seth, this badly, the safety of our nation would be in doubt. In other words, people are doing marketing so poorly that, you know, if we were doing bridges, we would condemn them all. He writes, he continues, the local sub shop makes a fine sub but has a dumb name, a typo in its sign, no attention paid to customer service, and on and on. Same for the big hospital down the street and the politician you wish would get a clue. Seth writes, there are three reasons for this. Number one, everyone is a marketer, so there's a lot more of it being done. Number two, most people who do marketing are actually good at doing something else like making subs, and they're merely taking this up as they go along. Three, there's no standards manual, no easy way to check your work. Without a rule book, it's hard to follow the rules. For the innovators and creators out there, this is great news, of course. Seth writes, the cure? Noticing. Notice what is working in the real world and try to figure out why. Apply it to your work and then repeat. Learn to see, to discern the difference between good and bad, between useful and merely comfortable. And after you learn, speak up. Noticing doesn't work if you don't care and if you don't take action. You know, we've harped on this literally for years. Uh, you, uh, we are always astounded at how folks who are an agronomist think that they are a marketer or how folks that uh, build pens think that they're a marketer. Uh, people who do all kinds of things, manufacture things, think that they can do advertising and marketing. Because why? Well, everybody sees it. They've been accustomed to watching television commercials. They've been accustomed to seeing video. They've been accustomed to listening to radio. They've been accustomed to seeing print ads. So what in the world could be so hard about marketing? Hell, I can do it. And that's the problem. So many people think that they can do it, and what Seth writes is totally true. Most people fail and fail miserably. When we visit with clients, here's what we tell them. We don't manufacture anything at our advertising agency, not a thing. We don't make the widgets, the self-weasel winding torque inducers, and all those things that our clients make, manufacture, or sell. We don't do that. What we do is we craft messages using all the tools of our trade in marketing and advertising to create a desire among consumers. It's not a hobby, it's not a sideline, it's an art, and it's a craft. And that's the difference between those of us that do this professionally and those that just dabble in it as the sales and marketing manager of some company, which by the way usually means they're more interested in sales rather than in marketing. It's an ongoing conversation that we have with people each and every time, and that's just fact, <laughs> okay? Seth Godin, what a, what a timely piece. Uh, we were just talking about this uh, last week in Kansas City uh, with a client. Uh, we were saying, you know, we don't make anything, we don't know how to, uh, we don't have that talent. Our talent lies in creating things that work. No more traditional advertising. Let's switch gears here for just a minute. Last week, we had a brief exchange with a new marketing director. And this kind of fits into exactly what we were just talking about. We had a conversation with a new marketing director of a relatively well-known business here in the Des Moines metro. And he told us that they were ditching all of their traditional advertising. No more print, no more television, no more radio. They were going to do everything and put every marketing dollar that they had into search engine optimization and search engine marketing. What did we think? Is it a great idea? Is it 
stellar? Is it stupendous? Or is it perhaps the worst train wreck in the world happening? We think train wreck. Let me explain why. You know, putting all of your eggs in one basket, and I don't care what that basket is, if it's print or if it's in television or if it's SEO or if it's search engine optimization or SEM, search engine uh, uh, marketing, is a mistake. Um, why? Why is it such a mistake? Here's why. This is an established company, and they already have established consumers. If they're trying to reach out for new consumers, and we think that's wise, we tell our clients there's only two things that their current customers are doing. One is dying and the other is moving on in some other form. So you have to replace the existing client base that you have. But how you go about that and not tick off or not alienate your existing customers is very, very important. To be able to say that we are abandoning all forms of traditional marketing and replacing that with SEO or SEM, we think is wrong-sided. Don't, your current customers, they'll lose the top of mind awareness. Now, it can be argued that you should shift some of those funds into SEO and SEM, but to, but to uh, uh, kick to the curb all of your traditional marketing, won't work. Here's what they should be doing. They should be taking a look at their traditional marketing, television, newspaper, or television, print, and radio, and segmenting that to the proper channels for their demographic. If their demographic is men, 45 plus, then find those outlets that are very strong with men, 45 plus. If it's women, 25 to 35, find those outlets that are exceedingly strong in traditional marketing for that demographic and then utilize that, perhaps not as heavily, but then abandon some of the use in some of the more outdated, outmoded forms that you're doing and switch some of those funds over to SEO and SEM. Uh, putting all your eggs in one basket is never a good idea, kids. But what do we know? We just do this for a living. When we come back, we're going to talk about something that came out of the university, uh, the Iowa State University. It's a startling report about digital images and what people eat. What you see, you eat. And what you see digitally, you'll eat more of. Can it be? Groundbreaking stuff. We'll be back with more of Insight on Business, the news hour, right after this. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. I'm Brian Leach, owner and general manager of Service Legends. Oh, I brought uh, along a couple of the uh, home comfort heroes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tammy Wells. I am Nick Wondershot. I'm administrative manager. I'm the senior technician. From Service Legends. It seems like every good thing, when you feel it to the bone that it's good, there's a lot of hard work put behind it. You just, I, I don't think that you can fake it and have it turn out good. You know, if we seem like, okay, that's just weird, it's just a furnace, why would you believe so deeply in a furnace? It's not just that, you know, we want to show the world that you can have good service. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be, it's your home. You know, it's, it's built into our daily trainings, it's built into our culture, um, that we're gonna do whatever it takes to have each client say they love us, period. That's why we spend all the hours in the training that we do, and if we guarantee it's gonna be a good experience for you, or else it's free, what type of work do you think we're gonna do? <laughs> there is a guarantee. Temperature selection guarantee, fixed rider it's free guarantee, comfort guarantee, best value guarantee, all of these guarantees hold us accountable to ensuring that we exceed your expectations. And if for whatever reason we'd fail and we can't make it right, we guarantee all of those guarantees with 100% money back. 